Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Barocas with Yolo Live, and today I'm going to walk you through the Yolo Box Mini with the 1.2 update. Thank you all for being here, and remember, we really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, like our videos if you find them informative. The 1.2 update has basically transformed the Mini into a full-fledged Yolo Box. It's Mini only in name and screen size only. So I have right here in front of me, I have the Mini, I have uh, some audio over here, I've got the list of uh, features in the new 1.2 update, and we are going to walk through this. First things first, I have the output of my Mini right here, and as you can see, we've got a row of icons down here. Some of these are new, like this one is new. Uh, we're gonna go through each of these in turn. So first, let's click on the first one. We have our graphics. The graphics that are built in to the Mini are have not really changed, but one of the key things now is if we take this and we write on it, you can now add an auto hide on the graphic. Also, done, if you go to your countdown graphic, you can also select background music. Now I do have some music already loaded on my SD card, so you can just take this uh, palm trees kind of music. Okay, done and done. And then this way, when you bring up the countdown graphic, you're gonna have some music. And that music will play through the countdown. So that is a handy feature in that you don't need a separate outside sound source to do your countdown music for your show. It's now built into the mini. Next up is the streaming mode right here. But before I go here, let's go into our settings. We're gonna to go to our streaming mode and we're gonna turn on Yola Live's multi-streaming service right here. And what that means is you're going to use the YOLO Live servers to send one stream from your mini and it will then be split out to multiple streams. So let's go back out to the service and I can go to my YouTube. I can go to my Facebook. I can go to my Twitch and you're limited to three. So if I then say I want to go to Restream, it's going to say, yeah, you can't select more platforms. It's three. But that's still pretty cool coming from one tiny little five inch tablet. It sends one stream out and then in the cloud, it's split to three. I have a video on multicasting from Yolo Box. Check that out. So we can do that. Now, all the way up here at the top, we now have Yolo Cast, which is a separate service where it's more than just multicasting going to multiple destinations. and it does do multicasting, but to way more destinations, it does hosting, it does embedding, it does monetization, it does so much more. It's a full-fledged content delivery service that is separate from Yolocast, but directly tied to it. So you could just push to it right there. So that is a fantastic new feature available in the mini. Next up right here is our sources. This is huge. You can see right here, I have my camera and I have a USB. I have a laptop connected to it via the USB input and it's two different sources. The Mini is now a full-fledged switcher. When it first came out, it was one input and you could pick. Now, two, it doesn't even stop at two inputs. Hey, you know what? Let's add an input. I'm going to add a video. Do, do, do. We have some videos from yesterday. And let's come down here to a countdown. Da, 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 da. It's still loading. There we go. Now I can select that. Done. So now I have a countdown video. So when I have a pre-show, I can start 15 minutes early. I can play the countdown video. People can tune in early, see the video, hear the audio, and know that everything is good and they're ready for the show to begin. My laptop just decided to take a nap. And... Hey, if I've got two sources, then that must mean I can do a picture in picture. Absolutely. Put the laptop in the background and put me in the foreground. And this way I'm in front of the video. But even better, you still have all those, you know, picture in picture things, border thickness, border color. You can swap the video with a single button, just like the pro. 
You can change the scale of these things. You can actually change the subscreen shape. Let's make it a circle, which, is, which I actually think is pretty cool. And make that border nice and thin. Say done. And then if I select that, boom. There you go. I am in the corner. I'm talking about this website and I have this nice little border all the way around me that has a really nice look to it. We're going to go back into our sources. I'm going to go back to me. And one thing I overlooked, but I'm going to mention it now. You see that little icon right there in the corner. You click on that and you can now do keying on the mini. So bring that up. Da -da. Instant background cutaway. We can replace that with a background. This one looks nice. Done. You can adjust all the different settings there. Done. And now I am doing a green screen key on the mini. And once again, I have a video on keying and, you know, doing things like that. And if you do this, you can come into here, take off the border completely and actually let me change the sub screen shape back to a rectangle done and then you see you can just appear over the video without a box because you're doing the keying so i'm keyed over the background and i use this in all these tutorials that's how i make these tutorials being able to show you the icons that's me being keyed into the video Another really handy feature is this side-by-side. -side. It's been updated to give you additional capabilities. So you select me, then you select the USB, and now you select a background. So we're gonna select, uh, let's just go with a gray background. Loading, done. So I am able to, now I don't have a box around me because I'm doing the green screen, but typically you would have a camera with some sort of background. So I have the whole width of this side and my other source has the whole width of that side over there. But, in addition to making it a little bit smaller and having more space around it, you can now expand the source on the right. And then I can have this slim part right here and I can talk about everything that's over here to my side, which it does not get shrunk. It maintains the 16 by nine ratio. So if you wanna talk about a video, if you wanna talk about uh, some sport that's going on, some video, you know, some other activity, a PowerPoint slide, that's going to be, that's going to remain full frame. And then the person talking about it is just squeezed over here on the side, but you can still see the person talking. You can still see their hands. You can still see their emotion nice and large next to what they're talking about. And that is a fantastic new addition to the mini because you can now have multiple sources in the mini. Next up over here is your audio. The mini now has an audio mixer, not an audio selector, an audio mixer, which means you can select, see that local video? I can turn that video, that audio on. I can turn the microphone input on. Let's see, am I plugged into that? Let's see, let's turn this on. And you should hear, hello? Yep. yep, you, you should, should hear two, two different microphones, microphones outputting the audio into the mini, and that's because I have two different microphones connected. Look at the overhead here. I have a microphone here, which is connected to my main camera, and then I have a secondary microphone over here, which is connected to the mixer, which then comes into the audio input here. So I can have multiple inputs playing at the same time into my mini. And that is a big advancement. I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> Let's go back to here. So you can see you've got multiple sources here. Also, you've got audio follow video. Audio follow video means if you select a different source, it'll turn that audio on automatically and when you go away from it it'll turn that audio off automatically that is a really handy feature for something else we've got coming up next up over here is your scoreboards which the mini had before nothing has really changed and a video is available showing you all the in-depth information about how to leverage the built-in scoreboards, especially you get right into here, the scoreboard styling. You can change all this information from game name, background color, scroll this up, you know, the team one, team one logos, background colors, your fonts, how to really maximize 
all of these features to really customize it to what you need for your sport. And now here is that other feature I was talking about right here. This is remote guests. Let's click on that. And here is where you can turn on remote guests and you can invite people with doo -doo -doo -doo, just an email or you can send the link to yourself and then send out a custom email with a little bit more information about the event and instructions on what people should do. I made a video just on remote guests. Please check that out because that includes a lot of information on how to really maximize the usefulness of remote guests. So I'm not gonna get into it here. This is really just a look at the mini. Next up over here is comments. And I believe Twitch comments are now supported in the mini as well as Facebook and YouTube. And using this, which you can see, I've got all three things connected here. And when the comments come in, I'm able to select the comment and I'll become part of the show. So the comment from Twitch can be seen on YouTube. A comment from YouTube can be seen on Facebook and Twitch. That way you're really unifying your audience across social media platforms. Next up over here is auto switching, which of course is really handy now that you can have so many more inputs. <laughs> when you turn on audio switching, that makes the mini switch between your camera inputs and remote guests. And remember, one of the key features of remote guests that I mentioned in that separate video is you can use a, a cell phone as another camera. You can have two cameras in the back, a wide and a close, and then you can have a cell phone over the cellular network remotely giving you an audience view that you don't even need any wires. It goes to the cloud and it comes down right into your YOLO box. So when you want to switch to an audience view, there it is. The auto switch is also really handy if you're doing tutorials or demos or arts and crafts and things like that, and you know, or music. You're playing music, you're doing DJ or whatever, and you want the camera to switch between you, a side view, an overhead view. It'll keep doing it automatically on this pre-programmed schedule that you give. Also, you can randomize it and you can select a, fan, a, a primary view. Again, I have made a tutorial specifically on the auto switch and the multi-camera switching feature. Please check that out. I really get into all the different capabilities of that feature. And lastly, over here is the settings. We're gonna click on that. You now have a lot more settings because there's a lot more features in the Yola Box Mini than when it originally came out. All of this has been really flushed out and you know expanded, especially this one right here, USB out. Remember now, you can you can send your USB out to a Zoom or anything else. You can use that as a web camera to another service. And you have the ability to go default or to flip it horizontally because sometimes when we do things, when you feed it into Zoom, it's gonna flip it thinking it's a web camera. Well, we're using a real camera. We actually don't want it flipped. You want the text on somebody's shirt or the background to be correct. So you can flip it here before you send it there. So the Mini is now quite a powerhouse. The Mini is now able to switch between multiple inputs. It only gives you two, HDMI and USB, which can be used to HDMI with an adapter, or you can feed in a USB webcam or other USB source, and it gives you one HDMI out, which can be program or the overlay like I was using in this demo. But with the remote guest feature, you can add five more sources, not to mention videos, two videos, multiple picture in picture options, the list is endless. So the flexibility and the capability of the mini is not mini anymore. It's only mini because of the screen. <laughs> uh, you also have the ability to leverage the picture in picture, side by side, split view, layout, the triple, all of those multi views that you've seen in the other YOLO boxes are now in the mini. You also have the ability to audio mixing, not selecting, mixing. So you can have multiple sources going on at the same time. And the automatic audio follow video or AFV is crucial to making the best use of using remote guests in your program. Their audio will be turned on 
automatically when you switch to them and turned off automatically when they're off the frame. Again, please see my video on using multiple guests. That'll really dive deep into that capability. You also have web URL overlays, the auto switching, chroma key, just like I'm doing now, and fade to black for your video transitions, auto hide for graphic overlays, so when you fade them up, they'll fade out automatically, a fantastic feature. More shapes for their uh, picture in picture, as I showed you, you can now do the circle, there's a diamond, you've got other aspect ratios. You can swap those multi views with one click. So if you selected them the wrong order, you just tap a button, shoop, and they swap. They swap, that's super easy, and Twitch comments. The Mini is a fantastic workhorse that has only gotten better. So that's been my look at the Yolo Box Mini with the 1.2 update. Fantastic features, bringing the Yolo Box Mini fully on par with the rest of the Yolo Box universe. Fantastic features that everybody's going to be able to make use of with the Yolo Box update. It is Mini in name only. Again, if you like these videos, you find them useful, do us a favor, subscribe and like the videos for us. That'd help us out a lot. My name is Anthony Barocas for Yolo Live. Thanks for watching.